Einen wunderschönen Willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Whispers of a Machine. Wir haben äh, ein drittes Mordopfer äh, aufgespürt. Und zwar hier in der Röhre, äh, beziehungsweise in der Maschine, haben einen Schlüssel gefunden, den wir wahrscheinlich hier drüben benutzen können. Und ähm, ich will mal gucken, äh, was wir hier noch alles finden. About half filled with God knows what. Pretty stinky. A few crates of different sizes. Maybe for transporting some of the recycled materials. Können wir hier nochmal reingucken? Ja. Falls wir wahrscheinlich Dinge hier übersehen haben, ne? Können wir hier. Okay. So, was haben wir hier? Ups. This conveyor belt sends metal objects down into the smelter. This thing is used to transport metals to the smelter. It's filled with various junk. Ich glaube, hier geht's nicht weiter. All right. Looks like these are the materials last put into the smelter. Okay. Various tools and lots of knives headed for recycling. Ah. Übereinstimmung mit wow. dem Muster. I think I just found the weapon that killed Carl and Maya. Hm. No DNA or prints. So this knife must have been thoroughly cleaned. Mhm. Mm Können wir das äh, mitnehmen? Got the knife. Da gab es sogar einen Erfolg. Eine hinterhältige Todesmaschine entdeckt. The weapon that killed Carl and Maya. Likely Leonard too. Hmm. So, schauen wir mal hier. Bed. Nothing out of the ordinary. Ach, der hat hier gepennt. This is probably where Leonard handled all of the paperwork. This is pro Mostly history books and some fictional novels. Ich befürchte ja fast. Wo ist eigentlich hier der Aushang? Da, huch. Hi, honey. No, no. Wait, what? It wasn't a dream? I must be going crazy. The blue is messing with my head. Uh, that's one way to say hello. You doing okay there, darling? Not really, Alex. How can I help them? This is weird for me, too. I have no idea. It's so strange seeing you like this. Well... I'm here now. Maybe we should just try to make the best of it. I guess so. Great. So, uh, how are you doing? Really? Oh, you know, keeping it together somehow. I thought taking on this case would give me a chance to get away from everything. I get that. We went through a lot. Yeah, you can say that again. Well, I'll let you get back to the case. Let's talk later, all right? Okay. I must be losing my mind. Also seltsam ist es auf alle Fälle schon, ne? Huch. A mural depicting some kind of abstract art. Hey there. Hi. Whoa, badass coat. Oh, thanks. Got it a week ago. Right on. You need to get some patches and stickers and shit for it too. Give it some personality. Naja. I might just do that. So, you're some kind of artist. Yeah. What do you think? Ich kann nichts anschauen. Erinnert mich an ein Fraktal. Zwei Blumen, die sich umarmen. Looks like two flowers hugging. <laughs> That's an interesting take. I'll leave him to his art. Ah, okay. Wenn wir ihn jetzt hier... I don't need to make him forget anything. Ah, okay, das ist doch nicht überall benutzbar. <lacht> so, da geht's nach Nordwesten. Wir gehen erstmal hin und gucken uns das an. 
Not sure what happened here, but it looks like old damage. Somebody swept up the glass on the outside, but didn't bother with actually repairing the windows. Doesn't, huh? doesn't look functional. There's probably a staircase somewhere. Maybe later. I don't feel an urge for a coffee break right now. Okay, but I get coffee get them out. Oh. I think that leads to a church of some kind. No reason to go up there at the moment. Okay, da müssen wir nicht hin. Wo geht's hier zum Osten? Not sure where that door leads. Wir können ja mal anklopfen. I don't think extra. Okay, wir klopfen nicht an. Na. Some fairly advanced solar panels. Those alone should be capable of powering up several blocks. Aber man hat keine weiter mehr, ne? Ähm. A light beacon marking the northern edge of the town disk. The junk piles extend some half a mile into the empty eastern part of town. I doubt they're being added to, though. Nordson residents seem conscientious about recycling. Okay, wir haben jetzt schon Schrotthalde und Süden. Ich gehe mal kurz erstmal Süden. Ach, guck an. Guck an, guck an, guck an. Guck an. So schließt sich der Kreis. Wir schauen mal hier rüber. I don't have a reason to visit the junk heap right now. Okay, ich schaue nicht darüber. Äh, wir haben Mordwaffe, wir haben das. Ach, Lennart Schlüssel, wir müssen rausfinden, wo der wohnt. So, wo sind die Adressen? Da. I don't need to look that up. I don't think I need to look him up. I don't think I need to look her up. Okay. I had a few questions, Commissary. By all means. Do you know who Katarina Berg is, the school teacher? She also calls herself Melinda. Sorry, I'm bad with names. Did you know Leonard Dahl? Not at all. I only first learned his name this morning. I learned that Leonard's death wasn't an accident. He was placed in that machine after his death. I suspected as much. Any leads on his killer? Some. I found the weapon that killed Carl and Maya in the recycling center, but it's clean. Hmm. So the murderer must have stashed it there after disposing of Leonard. Probably. It was placed in the metal recycler, so maybe the killer meant for it to get smelted down and destroyed. Okay. Sounds like a plausible theory. That's all I needed. Very well. Da fragen wir uns jetzt noch mal durch hier. Hello again, Gabriel. Hey there. Can I be of assistance? So, it looks like Leonard's accident was a murder after all. Seems so, yeah. We have to catch this psycho before he strikes again. Agreed. Okay, das war's. All right, I'm off. Good luck out there. So, wie immer zur Schule. Oh, uh, wir können jetzt rein. Mal gucken, ob wir irgendwas finden. Das nichts. Äh, was haben wir denn hier alles? Kinderkleidung. Looks like a few kids left some of their clothes here. Hm, ist so warm draußen. I don't need to rummage through that. Pictures of teachers and staff decorate the wall. Some are from way back when the school was founded. No names anywhere though. Ja, wir wissen nicht, wie es aussieht, ne? Here who could be Katarina. 
but it's hard to be sure without something specific to go on. Looks disconnected, probably not worth the energy. Plenty of outdoor activities planned for the children. Various books and office supplies. Uh -huh. Nothing out of the ordinary, but I doubt Katarina would hide anything in here. Too exposed. Weiß man nicht, weiß man nicht, weil es uh, ist halt so offensichtlich. Hm? I don't need to rummage through that. I think the children grew these themselves. That's good, gives them some practical skills. Drawings of different plants and trees, with close-ups of their nuts, leaves and seeds. Okay, was man so in der Schule halt macht, ne? Aber hier ist nichts weiter. Empty. Guess there are no classes today. Das ist nicht gut. Okay, dann hauen wir wieder ab. Mich würde interessieren, wo der Lennart wohnt. Wir haben hier halt ein... It's the key I found in the recycling center. Likely belonged to Leonard. Oh, wir kommen ins Museum. Eieieiei. This facility has been deemed compliant with the third decree, 12th Amendment, on November 4th, 79 AR. Path of the Pilgrim. Hmm, kind of an odd name for an exhibition about the collapse. It's hard to think that most people had several of these in their homes once upon a time. Ja, ein Staubsauger und weiß der Geil was alles, ne? It shows various star constellations. Apparently the ones we plan to explore with some incredible new rocket engine that they were about to finish when the collapse happened. Ja, ist aber Zufall, oder? It's hard to think that The collapse occurred on what we now refer to as Year Zero AR, Anno Reducto, Year of the Collapse. During this time, AI was involved intimately in every part of our lives. The typical family could not be sustained without it for more than a few weeks. A coalition of anti-technology, anti-globalist, and religious movements, referred to as the Human Wave, reached a critical mass due to a series of AI incidents across the globe. A growing fear of the singularity, mainly proposed by Voice for Human Progress, VFHP, was a contributing factor, as were proven hardware faults in widespread robotics across the globe. On June 2nd, the third decree UN resolution was passed, declaring that all AI was scheduled to be discontinued over a course of 10 years. An observant reader may notice that this definition is different from the third decree we live by today, wherein CPUs are completely outlawed. This is because the third decree has been amended 12 times. However, the phasing out period for AI did not proceed as planned, and we now enter an era in which there are large holes in our historical records. But we do know that there was a massive worldwide blackout, rendering most computer chips and processors in the world unusable. Contemporary scholars have theorized about what exactly caused this sudden change. If it was a deliberate large-scale attack, an unintended consequence of the ongoing shutdowns, or if there could be natural causes, such as solar flares. The evidence is scarce, and the lack of global communication and infrastructure, not to mention the struggle for daily survival, has made truth-seeking in this matter extraordinarily difficult. Regardless, the end result was clear. From that day, the old world was no more. In the dark, we took our first stumbling steps as truly free humans, surrounded by our mountains of dead machines. Okay, ist natürlich äh, traurig, ja? Due to the third decree, AI today is practically non-existent outside sanctioned laboratory conditions. Fringe terrorist groups such as the Conduit and N Protocol (EP) still try to resurrect AI, but have been successfully fought and nearly wiped out by authorities. Critics of the nano substance Blue claim that despite it lacking CPUs, it is a form of intelligent neural network warranted to be included in the third decree. Defenders of Blue tend to cite the Fourth Amendment, where transhumanism efforts in the form of human augmentation are declared legal. 
However, the Fourth Amendment was written before the discovery of blue, when primitive mechanical and cybernetic implants were the only options for human augmentation. The human wave was a loose affiliation of political and religious movements with the supreme goal of eradicating AI. It is widely considered to be the largest single cause of the collapse. Post-collapse, the movement continued its activities to some extent up to 4AR, but gradually lost its ability to maintain any larger operations due to the extensive deglobalization. Over time, the subgroups of the human wave splintered back into their original factions, some having accomplished their goals ceased to exist completely. Others, like the Church of Epos, Earth Preservation Orthodox Society, were formed to find a new place in a post-collapse world. A regeneration pod kept people healthy and energetic. Okay, alles funktioniert irgendwie drum. No idea what this is. Must have been some kind of local thing. I remember reading about some military experiment gone haywire in these parts. Maybe this is it. Oder aber auch nicht. Okay. I'm pretty sure these were flown autonomously and that some famous world leader got killed by hackers who took control of her vehicle. A terrorist group claimed responsibility, and there was a bloody civil war. So, gucken wir mal hier weiter in dem Raum. Looks like this is modeled from how the world looked pre-collapse. There's no crack caused by the hyperloop failure, and the crater field is nowhere to be seen. Looks like this is modeled from how the world looked pre-collapse. Nee, ist das gleiche. Wow, this thing must have been fearsome back in the day. Huch. Das haben wir viel Zeit für die Ausstellung genommen. Okay. Aber es ist nur die Ausstellung, ja. Wir, wir, wir haben hier keine Möglichkeit. Hier ist nichts, wo wir einen Schlüssel benutzen können oder so. Sondern nur Zeit vertrödeln. Warte mal. Hi there. I see that there's been some progress with the fallen power line. Yep. Feel free to head in now. Already did. Thanks. So, aber irgendwo müsste man doch seine DNA finden, oder? Zumindest als getippeltes oder so. So, wo wollen wir hin? Wir fahren. I, I don't. No need to go. No need. To. Nee, wir kommen hier nicht weg. So, hier haben wir noch die Klinik. Äh, und die Kantine. Warte mal, gehen wir mal kurz gucken. Okay, sind typische Verdächtigen. Hier ist keiner. So, dann gehen wir einfach mal zur Mimirstraße. Vielleicht wohnt er ja da. Pass auf, nachher wohnt er genau noch daneben. I, I don't think that's the right. It's nicht? the key I found. That combination makes. Okay, ist es nicht. Oh, wir können jetzt weiter. Ah, da kommen wir hier raus. Na, ja. Ich versuche immer, das wieder abzumachen, dann geht's nicht, ne? So, dann sind wir hier. 
Okay, wir müssen aber jetzt irgendwie... Irgendwie zu Potte kommen, ne? Straßenkünstler, Schrottheide, Einkaufszentrum. Hm. Maybe later. Hier wird es auch nicht weitergehen. Andere Musik ist ein bisschen seltsam. Aber hier geht es nicht weiter. There, Walter. Morning, Miss. How was your first night in town? Yeah, have a nice night's sleep? Well, I sure didn't. This numb nut forgot to unplug me, so I had to listen to his snoring for nine hours. <laughs> I protest, Nissa. I hardly ever sleep for more than seven. Oh, well, that makes it much less like torture. <laughs> I slept okay. The bed was a bit too soft for my taste, but I'll live. Glad to hear it. So, what can I do for you today? Wir fragen Dinge, wa? Do you know where I can find the school teacher, Melinda? I'm not sure who that is. What does she look like? Light brown hair, fair skin, mid 20s or so. Oh, just my type. They're all your type, Nissa. That's not true, Pops. Only women. And well, some robots. Quiet boy, she's not interested in your goddamn Preferences. <clears throat> Now, Agent, there's a lot of ladies like that in Nordsen. A picture would certainly be helpful. I have one right here, but it's not much to look at. You weren't joking. I can't do much with this. Let me know if you find a better one. Fair oh, enough. Yeah, we must well. Did you know Leonard Dahl? A little. He came by every now and then buying things for the recycling center. We've been talking about automating some of the work there. Yeah? Anything out of the ordinary about him? I wouldn't say so. He was a quiet, nice guy. A real shame what happened to him. Huh? Where are you this? I guess you heard what happened in the recycling center. Yeah, I don't know much about it. But man, people dropping dead left and right like this? It's getting real scary out there. Ever see this key before? Nope. First time. It uh, looks really nice. Nah, I don't want to scare the poor guy. Do you know anything about this book? Wow. A con okay, this had we schon in Folge 2 or 3. See you later. Take mm. care. Bye bye, police lady. Okay. Okay, ich glaube, wir dürfen uns dann in eine etwas kleinere Forschungsarbeit dann beim nächsten Mal stürzen. Aber jetzt machen wir erstmal ein Folgenpäuschen und wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal. Bis dahin, euer Firefox.